Hello friends, in this edition of Commoner series, we are going to discuss about the viability of electric vehicles. So what is an electric vehicle? An electric vehicle automobile which uses electric motors for propulsion than the internal combustion engine which is commonly used. With government's intention of electric vehicles being stated in short term, we are going to discuss about the challenges before the manufacturers and consumers can fully adopt to electric vehicles. The challenges which will be discussed in this video are the infrastructural issues, the battery issues, the adaptability to electric vehicles and the lithium ion reserves. First, we will discuss the foremost challenge, the infrastructural issues. The electric vehicle creates a surge for demand for electricity which creates tensions in electricity distribution network. This challenge is a way out. With the fates of renewable power and electric vehicle closely interlinked and Indian government's intention to produce 175 gigawatt of renewable energy, this challenge can be sorted out. The second challenge is battery. The cost of the battery amounts to 50% of the cost of the vehicle. The strategy to reduce the cost of the battery would include adopting proper battery chemistry with optimized cost and using Make in India initiative to reduce the cost of the battery. The second dimension in the issue of battery is the long charging hours needed for the battery of electric vehicles. Niti Aayog in its electric vehicle policy quotes the battery swapping technology. So what is battery swapping technology? Replacing the discharge battery with the, the charged battery in the charging station. The third challenge is lithium ion reserve. India has no reserves in lithium ion whereas China has monopolized lithium ion. Some in the industry echo positive voices for this problem. With lithium ion constituting only about 7% of the cost of the battery, adopting proper recycling technology would make this problem ease out. The final challenge would be to adaptability to electric vehicles. This problem can be sorted out through shared mobility and public transportation system adopting to electric vehicles sooner than later. Seeing so many as vehicles as electric vehicle on the roads, people's preconceived notion about electric vehicle would change. Governmental push towards electric vehicle. To incentivize the manufacturer and to make the industry grow, government has made its push towards the industry. Faster adoption to manufacture of electric vehicles is a policy intended by government to incentivize the electric vehicles. And lowering of GST on electric vehicles is also a step in right direction to incentivize the electric vehicles. So what are the advantages that we can see if we adopt electric vehicles than the internal combustion engine? The oil import bill would be considerably reduced, the issue of air quality would be addressed and the facilitation of employment generation in the sunrise sector. So government's short term goal on electric vehicles seems to be as like this. All the three wheelers should be electric within 2023. All the two wheelers with engine capacity of 150 cc and above should be electric within 2025. 30% of the cars should be electric within 2025. Though this target may be seem to be ambitious, we cannot see the change without setting an ambitious target. Finland has already achieved the target by setting an ambitious target so as we can. Thank you.